What is Samsung HVAC's SNET Pro 2 software for? Where do you get the software and how do you hook everything up and use it? And why do I use it? Today's video is all about SNET Pro 2. If you want to learn more about Samsung, the link for their website is in the description. Let's go ahead and get started with today's video. But before we do, you need to like, you need to subscribe. If you want member only videos or private videos for you to help you in the field as an HVAC technician, then click the join button. It's right there beside subscribe. It's very easy, but go ahead and hit that bell. Ding! So you know what I'm doing. That's a notification button. All right, let's go ahead and get started with HVAC tips for technicians. I am Tad, and you know I'll keep you cool if you let me. Let's go ahead and get started. So this right here is a ducted Samsung air handler. It's a slim duct air handler, and I've got two female spades connected to those male spades on the F1 and F2 terminal. And the, the F1 and F2 terminal comes from the outdoor unit and it's communication to the indoor unit. Now I'm up here in the attic and I've got those two wires connected to this SNET converter box. This right here is RS485. You can see it's connected right there. And then from there, I've got the USB RS232 connected to COM3. I labeled that COM3 because, well, I'll show you here in just a second. Let me log out here. All right, so this is SNET Pro 2. This is for NASA, and most of their equipment is NASA now. I used SNET Pro before. Now I have SNET Pro 2. And when I click on SNET Pro 2, then this screen pops up. And the first thing I want you to notice over here in the left-hand corner is this icon. And what I do before I ever connect is I go to serial port and then I click on whatever serial port I'm using, whether it's COM1, COM2. I'm connected right now, so it won't show me that. But whenever I connect it over here in the right-hand corner, I'm going to have a blinking light beside COM3 and it's gonna be yellow, and whenever I connect and start communicating, it's gonna flash green. You wanna make sure it's flashing green. If it doesn't flash green, you could have a problem. Make sure you don't drop this. I've actually dropped one in the past, and it broke the converter box. It didn't damage the exterior, but it was damaged inside. So make sure you label the USB, the COM port that you're gonna be using. And whenever you connect to it, what's great about this is down here, you have indoor unit data, indoor unit installation data, and then control for unoccupied and entering room. Now this is where the control is, and I can look at the operation mode, the fan speeds, the set temperatures, and then I can go back over here and we can click on indoor unit installation data. Now you're automatically going to see we have a wall mount air handler here, a ducted air handler here, and a wall mount air, air, air handler here. So for the indoor unit installation data, I've got three different units. That is my product option. I'm going to show you how to change that and the installation options here in just a second. But I want to show you that if we scroll over here, we can look at the history and you can see the different error codes that we've had. Okay. So if you want to know more about error codes, very easy. Go up here. This is another reason I love SNET because you have error codes. Boom. Look at that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I've got all the error codes available for me. So I can take a look and figure out what type of error codes I've had. Now push exit and go back. And let's check out some of our data from the indoor unit. All right. So the mode is cooling. The capacity for each piece of equipment, I've got two 18,000 BTU units and one 12, and it looks like the capacity is pretty much maxed out there. Look at our room temperatures. Room temperature is 83, 68, and 76. Our evaporator inlet and outlet, that is measuring the sensor connected to each indoor unit. For the ducted unit, you've got an evaporator inlet and outlet sensor. All right, we look at fan speeds. We scroll over here and let's actually come down here. I gotta be able to see my mouse here. Okay, scroll over. Look at the cool lower temp limit, high. Okay, now let's go over here. I'm gonna show you some more information. This is our outdoor unit. Total indoor units is three. 
Capacity for the sum of those indoor units is 47,214. We've got compressor is on. We've got no air codes. Operation is cooling. Discharge temperature is 105. Compressor top temperature is 103. Fan RPM for the outdoor motor is 650. Compressor outdoor temperature. And then we can find out what our pipes are. So I'm using pipe number two, three, and four for this unit. And we've got 49 degrees, 42 degrees, and 64 degrees. So it looks like that uh, we've got some pretty good temperature there coming to our indoor units. Now, I'm going to show you where to adjust the options settings. So indoor unit installation option. We're going to go to add-on. We're going to go to indoor option rider. All right, we're going to select the ducted unit right here and we're going to be able to change the product code so if i wanted to adjust the fan speed or if i wanted to change an option setting and make it to where i'm not using the drain pump or i am using the drain pump then i can do that very easily and i like this software because not only can i change an option setting very easily versus having to use a remote controller or a wired controller but say i'm in a huge commercial building and i have a hundred of these or I have 10 of these I can just connect to one of them and I can see all that information so I don't have to be on floor number seven to see floor number four's units okay I'm gonna use SNET Pro to write an option code where I'm gonna increase the fan speed because I've got such long duck work so this is the sound of the unit idling right now And I'm going to notice the sound when I write the option. How I do it, go to add on, go to write option, specify the indoor unit. I'm going to add the code for the ducted. This is the code right now, 0103FC, 1C58D, 2735383777, or 7000. This is the code I have put in. And then I'm going to go over here and push right option. And I think I'm changing the speed from 0.08 to 0.16. So just wrote that option there, download success. Okay, and I close it. And then I, w I went to add on and then indoor option writer to get to that. All right. Sounds like the fan's starting back up. Let's see if we can hear a difference. Definitely a noticeable difference. That's in the auto position on the thermostat. It's great to have this program, this software, to be able to just change the fan speed. How do you get your code? You go to VRF Coder. VRFcoder.com. And then you can get the option code that you're looking for. Call Samsung Tech Support as well. Information for all that is in the link in the description. Go down below. Got two DVM condensers right here and one unit handles three indoor units and the other unit right here over here handles four indoor units. And right now I'm using my SNET Pro 2 to do a little commission. You can see right there one outdoor unit and for indoor units. If I go down here, you can look at my pressures. High sides 398, low sides 109. It's really hot in here, but we can check out all that information for the outdoor unit and then go to all the indoor units. I've got them all set to cool via the controller. See the controllers right here. You can push select all, then put the system to on, temperature set to 64, operation mode cool and then fan speed on high for all those units because I want to see this outdoor unit ramp up. Look at the EEV positions, evaporator inlet, evaporator outlet, 48 degrees, 72 degrees. Room temperature is 89 degrees. I love SNET because I don't have to go individually turn all of the units on via the wired controllers or wireless controllers. Discharge temperature set 
and we've got 360 cassettes on this so you can see that right here it shows what the unit is if we go to controller go to controller see we got a couple 360 cassettes that was now we can go to the outdoor unit installation data or the outdoor unit data look at the compressor top these things have two compressors I'll show you this right here is my S net tool you can see where I've got that hooked up that goes outdoors to my F1 and F2 we've got the yellow light we've also got the green light that is key see the little green blinking all right let me show you all right all right there's a 10 ton and this right here is where I hooked up my wires F1 and F2 you can see that right there there's one compressor down here BLDC three-phase scroll there's another compressor right there I love these units where's the tag at And this one is a 12 ton. See that model and serial number? So we got a 12 ton and a 10 ton. And I love SNET because doing a startup. So I'll show you these 360 cassettes. We installed these a few years ago. It's awesome. All right, hope you're healthy, hope you're happy. Here's one cassette. Samsung. And you can see the little icon is lit up, so it's working. Let's go look at the other cassette on this unit. Remember, this unit has four indoor units. You can see it's a little dirty. It needs to be cleaned, blowing out cool air though. Use SNET software. It's great for startups. You don't know where to get it, check out samsunghvac.com. You're going to be able to go to the download section and get that software. You'll need a laptop. You'll need the converter tool. But I wouldn't do a startup any other way. Now, I just came up here just to show you the units I was starting up. But if you got SNET, you don't have to go up and down stairs. Not unless you have an issue, shows you an error code, you know which unit you need to work on. So, show you another unit we got here. This is a this is a wall mount. I've got the cover off. Man, that's nice and cool. All right, hope you like this video. This is just SNET doing some startups, changing some fan speeds. I'll keep you cool if you let me. Also, if you want more videos, check out my playlist, HVAC Tips for Technicians. I have a bunch of videos right there on Samsung equipment. Definitely go visit their website. That way you can learn more about SNET Pro 2. And don't forget, I'm Tad, and this is HVAC Tips for Technicians, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.